guys and welcome back and to those who are new welcome to you as well today we are going to be making a banana cake without buttermilk I know a lot of recipes call for buttermilk but I don't happen to have any on hand so we're just gonna make one without the buttermilk so here are the ingredients we're gonna need we are gonna need some sugar this is sugar guys it's just in this bag because our bag ripped so I had to put it in this Ziploc bag. We're gonna need some flour. This is flour. I keep it in this container because once again, the bag ripped. Some salt. I use this pink Himalayan salt. Some vanilla. I just use this cheap imitation vanilla. This is like 96 cents at Walmart. I'm gonna be using some salted butter for mine. You can use unsalted if you prefer. We're gonna need three eggs, some baking soda, and a four pretty ripe bananas. So those are the ingredients we need and we'll move on to the next. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is preheat our oven to 375. And then in a bowl, we are going to put a half a cup of butter. Now, I melted my butter. A half a cup of butter is actually one whole stick. Like I said, I melted mine down. And then we are going to add a, a cup of sugar. This is a half a cup. It's just easier to get it out of the bag with this half a cup. So there's a half. And there is a full cup. I'm going to put that over there. I'm just going to go ahead and cream this together. You can use your hand mixer if you want. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it the old-fashioned way. Now, once that is all creamed together, we are going to add our eggs. Now I thought we needed three eggs, but this recipe only calls for two, so only add two eggs, guys. That was my bad. I'm dropping eggshells. There's one. I'm just throwing that in the compost bowl. It's actually a law where we live now that we have to compost. We've been composting for quite a while, but it just took effect on July 1st that everyone has to compost. We have a friendly bear that likes to come visit us. He likes to get into garbage. We don't keep our garbage outside anymore because of him. But he does like to stick his nose in the compost every once in a while. So now that those four eggs are all two eggs, excuse me, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm thinking of the four bananas. Now that the two eggs is creamed together with the butter, we are going to take our bananas and we are going to mash them in a bowl. I will grab the bowl that I'm actually, I'm not using this one. I got the, this bowl chop them up into chunks. My kids love bananas. They are banana queens, I call them. So there is two of them. We'll start with that. I'm just getting a spoon or something to mash them up. Hope everyone is having a great day. It's gonna be pretty hot here. Another day, the girls are probably gonna be outside in the pool. We usually go outside and do the pool and the gardening during the day, and then at night when the baby settles. My oldest daughter, she does her schoolwork. She didn't have to do summer work, but we chose for her to do summer work just so she didn't get behind. 
I'm going to get a fork, guys. Hold on. Like I said, just so she doesn't get behind during the summer. It's not a lot. She just does a page or two. And then she does some reading during the day. She's going to be in second grade. She's super excited. Hopefully things will kind of go back to normal before the next school year. We've got the two bananas. They are mashed. We're going to throw them right in there. Then we're going to do the next two bananas. What do you guys think? What do you think the next school year is going to look like? Definitely probably different than what the kids are used to, but right now the plan with our school is that they're going to go back to school in the fall. Um, they're supposed to be having a meeting sometime this week for some sort of guidance on what the school is going to look like. Definitely going to be different for kids, but I think it's good for social interaction. My daughter was pretty upset this year. She just transferred to this school, just started making new friends, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, they said, school's over with, guys. Go home. And then, of course, she couldn't see her friends because of social distancing. Luckily, she has a couple friends in her class next year. We did get the school list, the classroom list of who's going to be in there. And we got her teacher for next year. All right. Now that these are mashed, we are going to add, just going to mash it up a little bit more. We're going to add this to this bowl. Gonna get this out of the way. And we're gonna stir this. That's what it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna grab the other bowl and I am going to add two cups of flour. always make a mess when I'm baking, but that's okay because I always clean it. There's one cup. I might have to go grab the other cup, guys. I'm not quite sure if I can get my hands down in here. I think there should be enough left in here, but... like I got it guys. Don't mind the mess I'm making all over the place. Like a little child. Okay. There is that. Now we're going to add a teaspoon of baking soda. There's a teaspoon. We are going to add just a pinch of salt. Mine's a grinder, so it comes out pretty slow. There's just a little bit of salt. We are going to mix that. Um, here's my spoon. I was looking for that. I'm going to go ahead and mix this. We're going to add it to our wet ingredients. A mix. Hand mixer will probably be easier, but I don't like talking to you guys. The hand mixer is really loud. It smells good. Get the flour from the sides. Now we are going to add two teaspoons of vanilla before we get done mixing. There's one. There's two. And we are going to finish.
finish during this. Bunt cake pan. I'm gonna spray it down with this um, oil. Be pretty generous about it. And then we are just gonna scoop this in, guys. You can use any kind of pan you want. My girls like this shape cake. It's really weird. They say that they like the way it looks. So we'll just use this. This will probably go a little bit quicker. Sorry, guys. If this is in the way. We are going to spread this all around. Super quick homemade cake. Pretty easy to make. I'm not a baker. Definitely not a baker, guys. Better cook than baker. Pretty decent baker, but it's not my forte. And now that we have that all in that pan, we are going to go ahead and pop this in the oven for about 30 minutes or until you can poke a fork or a knife in the middle and it comes out clean and i'll show you when it's done and cooled down right, guys and it is done the top's a little weird from where i poked it just to see if it was done but it came out really nice really good not dry at all my kids have already gotten into it as you can tell they really like it so go ahead and give this recipe a try if you like this video go ahead and leave a thumbs up comment down below subscribe and remember you are beautiful you are loved and you are worthy. I'll see you in the next one.